Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a rainbow spiral sweatshirt that has black accents. As usual, the sweatshirt's been washed and dried, soaked in a soda ash solution for at least 20 to 30 minutes. I wrung it out of my pan to spin dryer so it's just barely damp. I'm beginning the spiral with a fork, and as I turn the fork one direction, I'm using my other hand to form additional folds in the sweatshirt. Once I have the sweatshirt spiraled, I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. Okay, so now it's time to start applying the dye. I'm beginning with Deep Orange from Dharma Trading Company. Followed by Lemon Yellow from Dharma Trading Company. Fire Red from Dharma Trading Company. Bright Green from Dharma Trading Company. And because the sweatshirt design is so thick, I'm making sure that I take the colors down onto the side of the sweatshirt. Turquoise from Grateful Dyes. Grape from Custom Colors. And Fuchsia from Grateful Dyes. Now I'm going to turn the sweatshirt over and repeat the same color pattern on the back side. I'm going to check a few of my folds to make sure I have good color saturation and I'm going to continue adding dye until I feel like it's well saturated.
I'm gonna pour a little bit of Black Bang from Custom Colors into a container and using a foam brush, I'm gonna paint it on the outside of the sweatshirt. I'm painting it on because I'd like to have some accents, but I don't want a large quantity of black in the sweatshirt. I want the primary design in this sweatshirt to be a rainbow. So I'm coating the top of all of the pleats, but I'm not pressing a whole lot of color down into the sweatshirt. I'm gonna add black to both the front and the back. And then because this is such a thick design, I'm gonna take and lightly brush a little bit of black on the sides of the sweatshirt, just so that it gets a little bit of black onto the sleeve area. For the most part, the sides of this design are the sleeve portion because they're long and that's what's wrapped around on the outside. So I'd like for them to have a little black on them as well. Once I'm finished applying the black, I'm gonna put the sweatshirt aside and allow it to process for at least 24 hours. I think I left this one closer to 48 hours before I rinsed it out. Now I'm gonna begin rinsing in my utility sink and I'm starting with cold water. The reason for beginning to rinse in cold water is to flush out any of the soda ash water that is still left in the sweatshirt. Then I switch over to hot water, which will help flush out any of the excess dye that hasn't bonded with the fabric. Because this is such thick fabric, after rinsing for just a little while, I went ahead and put the stopper in the sink, added a little squirt of Dawn dish soap, and added some hot water. Then I just let the sweatshirt continue to soak, and I kept changing out the water until it was mainly clear. Then I threw it in the washing machine and I washed it with hot water and a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent, dried it in the dryer, and this is what our sweatshirt looks like. You see what I mean about the black accents? It has the black accents, but the black doesn't overtake the rest of the rainbow colors. So hey, if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, I sure would appreciate it if you'd hit the big red subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.